the last lecture, we looked at the basic static output feedback problem. Now we're going to look at the basic dynamic output feedback problem. In the dynamic output feedback problem, we have this, that for single input, single output systems, we can work with the root locus. The root locus uh, can help us. We can add poles and zeros to achieve stabilization. So the root locus is a valuable tool for single input, single output systems. And in fact, we have this theorem that's called the fundamental theorem of control. So you've heard of the fundamental theorem of calculus. Well, we have a fundamental theorem of control, which says this. An nth order minimal single input, single output system can be stabilized by a controller of order at most n minus 1. So this tells us something about control. Notice it, an uh, nth order system, so to, it's a general theorem. It requires a minimal single input, single output system. Minimal. So that's, that's a, you know, we, we've seen that some systems are stabilizable, but not controllable, in which case they're not minimal. Um, so, but for, the, for a minimal single input, single output system, it can be stabilized by a controller over at most of, of degree at most n minus 1. It's possible for it to be stabilized for a controller of lower order, um, but, but at least uh, it may require up to a, a controller up to order n minus 1 to uh, stabilize this. And so an important question is, how can we find such a controller? How do we find such a controller? Well, we can use ad hoc controller design. And I have mentioned that already, where you have the root locus problem and you add poles and zeros to try to stabilize the system. So remember, when the root locus problem, you can, uh, the zeros attract poles. And so if you want, if you want to attract the poles, for example, from the, from the, right half plane into the left half plane, then um, you would you would want to put the zero so that the poles would be would want to migrate over into the left in, into the left half plane. So this approach is very is is fairly simple for many problems and very intuitive. That is, when you're done, you know exactly what you've done, and so. Um, it's, it's very very straightforward. Low order. In general, you can start with a with the static output feedback problem. See how far you can get. If you if you can't control it, then you move and you can add one pole at a time to try to stabilize the system. And so, in general, you may be able to get a low order controller for such a system. Um, we can start with a constant. Okay, add pole zeros till you get stability. And so this process can continue, and we know that we only need to add at most n minus 1 poles to the system. Notice that when you add a pole to the system, you can also add a zero to the system. And so it so that those zeros again attract poles, and so that's that's one of the techniques used in this. Now the problem is that there's no guarantee of being able to find, and here I say workable controller, you can find a controller that stabilizes the system, but it may give very poor performance or very have very poor robustness properties. So, so the ad hoc method can be good. It can be in that is simple, intuitive, of low order, and so forth, but um, no guarantees with it. Now, we can also use something called the uh, Con computer aided control system design tools for single input single output systems computer aided control system design tools so for example there is the SISO tool that can be used to, to design a single input single output uh, controller um, and again it's, it's somewhat ad hoc in that um, you would uh, you would be tweaking things uh, placing poles and zeros. Um, the SISO tool in MATLAB also gives you, for example, PID controller designs, 
it allow you to do other things as well and so the the, the tools uh, are very powerful in the SISO tool uh, for computer-aided control design unfortunately there's no such nice little tool for multi-input multi-output systems but that's okay because we have some other tricks up our sleeve that we're going to talk about here in just a moment.